All right. Oh my God, Bronzetti versus Osaka. We're gonna play Shvion Tech. It's already mad. It's already mad. Here we go, chat. They've got a, a million names on one side and a blank draw on the other. Here we go. Non-seater players first. They're gonna just go and put them out there. All right, let's see what's up. Oh, Shviontek plays a lucky loser quality in the first round. That is good. All right. Oh my God, Bronzetti versus Osaka. We're gonna play Shviontek. It's already mad. It's already mad. Shviontek Osaka second round. What are we doing? What? You can't start like that. Anyways, a bunch of other names are coming out. Nothing, uh, nothing massive. A lot of qualities in the section. Again, we don't know what the seeds are, so we're just gonna wait and see what's up. Also, a qualifier lucky loser potentially for either Goff or uh, Rabakina could play a lucky loser. So top half of the draw, a lot of lucky losers around for for um, or luck, a lot of uh, qualities around for for maybe. I mean, that that second section, if it's Goff, that's a good draw. If it's uh, Rabakina, it's a good draw. So those two want to be in that second section at this point. But you gotta play Shvionsik in the semis. But all right, and Nissimo is in this section section as well. There's nothing really crazy to speak of. Uh, Kennen versus Sigamund. Okay, that's a fun little first round. Oh no, Cornet. Does she have to play a seed? She does. Cornet. Cornet's gonna have to play potential. Or Cornet's gonna have to play either Von Drusova, Zachary, Jung, or Jabur. Cornet versus Jabur first round. I would like that. Or Zachary. That would suck for Zachary. Come on, give Zachary something else. Tormo on Drescu. That's a tough matchup. That's a tricky one. On Drescu hasn't played forever. And Tormo on Clay. That's a nightmare. Pliskova's playing a seed. Hang on. Who's Pliskova gonna play? We could be getting Pliskova versus Svetolina in a first round. Or something like, or maybe even Keys. That could be interesting. Let's see who uh, who Rabakina or Goff's got down the bottom. So potentially, Goff or Rabakina could be playing Kerber in a second round. And Minnen in a first round. So yeah, that second section is probably where you want to be if you're Rabakina or uh, or Goff. So Gracheva's going to play against... Oh, maybe Gracheva taking on Sakri first round. That's awkward for a, to play a French person. Andreva's down in the Sabalenka section. Okay, Andreva's down that bottom. Where the hell is Bedosa going to play Sabalenka in the second round again? Is that what we're going to see? Is it Bedosa Sabalenka round three, like you know, match three? They've played so much this year, every other friggin' week. Bedosa plays somebody, and then third round against Sabalenka. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, putting Severs there too. Sabalenka's draw sucks. Putting Severs, Stevens, Bedosa, and, and Sabalenka. Sabalenka's going to. Uh, that's not good. Sabalenka's got Erika Andreva first round, the sister of Andreva, and then a qualifier in the second round, and then just nightmare. Like, there are a lot, there's so many tough matches there potentially for Sabalenka. Sabalenka's draw at the moment is more awkward. Okay, now we're gonna find out where the seeds go. We're gonna find out where Goff and Rabakina go. Remember, the second section has the, all the qualies. Also has Sviontek in the semi, though. That's, you know, do you want all the qualies or do you want Sabalenka? Or do you want Sviontek? I don't know. Who is playing Sviontek in the semis? That's all we wanna know. Is it Goff or is it Rabakina? Let me know. Tell me now. Goff, Sviontek. Goff's got a good draw. Except for Sviontek. Goff's got a qualifier in the first round. And, and Rebecca and Sabalenka. Okay, so we get Goff versus Sviontek semi-final if they win. Rebecca's draw is a little tricky. Kerber second round, potentially. Minin in the first round for Rebecca. Okay, now we are going to find out who plays Sviontek in a quarterfinal. Who does Sviontek play in the quarterfinal? She plays Vondi. Von Drusova versus Sviontek in a quarterfinal. Okay, not terrible for, for Shvion. I mean, Vondi did make the final here five years ago, but this year, that's probably a good pick. Number eight, who's that? Jabur versus Goff in a quarterfinal. So that means Sakari and Zhang are down the bottom half. So is it going to be Sakari Rabakina or Zhang Rabakina? It's going to be Zhang Rabakina. Zhang versus Cornet first round. Woo, that's a tough match. And that means Sakari's with Sabalenka down the bottom quarter. Sakari Gracheva. Ooh, Fred, you don't want to play anyone French in the first rounds. We'll see what happens. Okay, now. A number 11. Who is that? Collins and Vondi in a fourth round. Winner plays Sviontek. <laughs> Collins is in the Sviontek section. Fourth round, uh, quarterfinal potential. Number nine. Who's she? Oh, Ostapenko plays Jabur in a... Oh. <laughs> Ostapenko, Jabur in a fourth round. Winner plays Goff. <laughs> that's really... That's interesting. All right. Paulini, she'll take on Zhang if they make it that far. Paulini, Zhang in a fourth round. Winner plays Rebecca in the quarters. And then number 10, Dasha plays Sakari in a fourth... Dasha's got a good draw. Dasha plays Sakari in a fourth round. I'm going to play Savalenka. I don't know why, chat, but every time I see the draw, I just think, God, Rabakina's draw sucks. We don't even know who she's playing yet. We only know she's playing someone in the first round. We don't know much else. But I always just go, oh man, Rabakina's draw sucks. Because it always sucks, usually. Anyways, up the top. Oh, Alexandrova versus Sviontek. Fourth round. Alexandrova beat her, but not on clay. Sviontek's draw is not easy. Hadaj Maya versus, Os uh, versus Goff. Winner plays either Ostapenko or Jabur. That's a... God... 
That it's a top heavy draw, it feels. Svetolina Rabakina, Svetolina Pliskova. Did I not just say that that could be happening? Svetolina Pliskova is happening, chat. And then Keys versus Sabalenka fourth round. Who's got the worst draw? I don't, I mean, it's pretty. I mean, I'll tell you who, who's left, right? You still got Krajikova. You've still got Kalinskaya, Fernandez, Nozkova, uh, Samson over. She comes good. Kostyuk, Azarenka, Garcia. I mean, still a lot of dangerous players floating around. Krajikova's playing against Alexandrova. Winner plays Fion Krajikova's Fiontek fourth round. Kostyuk versus Collins. Winner plays Vondi. Fiontek's draws has got killers. That Fiontek's draw, it might be tough. Chad, have you ever had deja vu? Why I feel like last year I said the exact same thing. Has Fiontek got a bad draw? Garcia versus Ostapenko. Winner plays Jabur. Hadaj Maya Samson over winner plays Goff. Is the top half of the draw like way more stacked? Oh, Paolini versus Callan Sky third round. That's fun. Winner plays Young. Has Fiontek's draw bad? Pavlia Chenkova versus um, Svetolina. Winner plays Rabakina. Azarenka Dasha. Winner plays Zachary. I think it's, maybe it's just even. Maybe it's just like, it's a really tough draw, but it's not tough for her. But then every other draw is kind of like even. Like no one, like all the seeds have an even, like they're all very, they all, they have awkward draws. Anyways, who's Fiontek playing in the third round? It could be Noskova. If there's Noskova, I'm walking out. It could be, I mean, I would like to see her play Kudamatova. That'd be fun. Or no, not, uh, maybe play Fernandez. That'd be fun. Third round for Fiontek. She's going to play number 29. That is, oh, uh, Kudamatova. <laughs> Fiontek she got an awkward draw. Like, I don't, I don't think that's a good draw. It's not easy. Sinia Kova plays Vondi. Same in that top quarter. That's that's an awkward draw. Kudamatova's been terrible this year, though. That's probably good. Yastremska plays Goff third round. Ooh. Fernandez plays Jabur third round. Ooh. Ooh. There's some really fun matches. Kostea takes on Jung in the third round. So wait, Noskova took could take on Rabakina here. If she get if she is number is a number what number? 25. That's not her. That's a Mertens. Rabakina's draw is not bad. Rabakina might have an easy draw. Kerb is not easy, but I mean, she might have a good draw, Rabakina. Noskova Sakari third round. Ooh, that's fun. Rabakina's draw might be the best if she's not sick bolter bedosa first round winner plays either stevens or putting Sarah and then sabalenka in the third i don't know i, I feel like fiontech's draw kind of sucks like it's not though it's not bad I, I don't know if anyone has a bad draw but it's like rebecca won the draw i feel like that too i feel like rebecca his draw is not that bad like she if she's healthy she should beat a lot of those players like she should make a, a run Fiontech's got some hurdles, and Sabalenka's got a tricky draw early, and then it just depends on Goff. I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I don't know. I don't know if the draw, who's got the worst draw. Fiontech's draw is tough. Yeah, that's what I, I feel it's not, it's like tougher than it could have been. 